This is a WISN 12 editorial with President and General Manager Jan Wade. The unbearable tragedy at the Waukesha Christmas Parade is impossible to comprehend. Parade goers out to enjoy a holiday tradition left traumatized, while some were left to mourn. Six dead, more than 60 others hurt, some critically, and the lives of many were forever changed. The senseless act is even more incomprehensible when you learn that the accused suspect is a convicted felon who should never have been out on the street. Just one week before the parade, he was released from jail in Milwaukee County after posting a $1,000 bail. Police say he ran over the mother of his child with a car. Prosecutors filed five charges against him, including recklessly endangering safety. Yet after paying just $1,000, he walked away. How does that happen? He had a long criminal history, he's a registered sex offender, and the day of the parade, he was reportedly fleeing yet another crime. It's impossible to understand how this man was not already behind bars, and truly insane that his bail was so low. Some Wisconsin legislators are already working to help fix the problem by reintroducing an amendment on bail reform. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee County District Attorney is conducting an internal investigation. Regardless, this is an inexcusable lapse of our criminal justice system. While some may call this a tragic wake-up call, it's heartbreaking and shameful that it came at such a high cost. I'm Jan Wade.